explore a story called what we're going to explore a story called what are seeds from get epic so as you can see this is a non-fiction text in terms of the genre and there are quite a few different um uh sections in our table of content we're going to be exploring plants make seeds plants parts new plants what is a seed and hiding in we're also going to continue to explore a place to grow floating on water spreading seeds, a, spree, a seed sprouts, seeds called grains, words to know, and here are some adults, uh, notes to adults and some activities. Plants make seeds. Seeds are living things. Seeds are made by plants. Plants are living things too. And here's a variety of different plants here. I mean, excuse me, seeds. New plants grow from seeds. Seeds can be many size, colors, and shapes. A new plant will be the same size of plant it came from. Part, plant parts. All plants have roots, stem, and leaves. Some plants have flowers and some have fruit. Seeds are contained in the plant's flowers or fruit. Some seeds are large, and avocado fruit has one big seed inside. However, other seeds are tiny. A poppy flower has a lot of tiny seeds inside. New plants. Seeds grow into new parts. Seeds need water, air, and nutrient cysts, and sunlight to grow into new plants. Some flowers contain many seeds. Others contain only a few. This sunflower contains many of seeds. As you can see, all of these little particles are, are the seeds in the sunflower seeds. What is a seed? A seed contains all the food that the new plant will need to begin to grow. The, this food is called seed food. Each seed has a seed coat to protect the new plant inside the seed. A seed coat is an outer covering some are smooth and some are rough as you can see these are almonds here and the inside what we eat the almonds are the seeds and on the outside is the hard, hard seed coat covering hiding inside the seeds of some plants grow together in a in a case called a seed pod the pod splits open to release the seeds when they are ready to grow. The seeds of evergreens are found in cones. Evergreen trees have needles for leaves. A place to grow. When the seeds of some plants are ready to grow, they will drop off the plant and land it in the soil underneath. Some plants, some seeds have parts or structures that help them travel far. The wind carries those seeds and scatters them in new growing places. Friends, we call this seed dispersal, and we'll talk a little bit more about seed dispersal later. Floating on water. Plants that live in water have, seed, have small seeds that float to new growing spots. The seeds sink and begin growing at the bottom of a lake, pond, or other waterways. The systems excuse me, the stem of the water lily flowers in this picture reach all the way to the bottom of the lake. Hmm, I wonder how deep is this pond? Spreading seeds. Some seeds are spread by animals. For example, a seed eaten by a squirrel is carried inside the squirrel's mouth, the squirrel's body to a new place. The seed is released by the squirrel in its droppings and then the seed begins to grow a seed sprouts when a seed starts to grow in soil we say it sprouts first the seed case opens breaks open a tiny root grows into the soil to get the water from the nutrients then a shoot begins growing upwards to get sunlight and air the shoot grows into a young plant called a seedling. When it's fully grown, the plant will make its own seeds. Seeds called grains. Some seeds are called grains, are food that we eat. The seeds of wheats and oats are used to make cereal, bread, and other food we eat. 
These plants are called cereal grasses. All right, so we will continue to talk a little bit more about our um, seeds, but let's do a quick quiz to see who was listening. So when we have our when we have our little um, small group tomorrow, I mean on Wednesday, we're going to talk about this. So I want to see who's listening. How many seeds do poppy flowers have? Many, around ten. Not many. A big seed. Okay, I'm going to say many. All right. So why do seeds have a seed coat? Why do you think the seed has a seed coat? To keep it warm, to help it look pretty, to keep it dry, or to protect the new plant? Hmm. Hmm. Seed coat. I know if I had on a coat, I would say that a coat would probably keep me dry, but that's different. Remember, a seed coat is going to protect the new plant. How might seeds be moved to a faraway place? Let's see. Oh, I remember this one. This one was about the squirrel. Our last question. What is a young plant called? Ooh, this one is tricky. A young plant. Shoot, wheatling. Plantling or seedling? Well, I've never heard of weedling or plantling, so I'm going to go with seedling. All right, friends, we scored 100 out of 100. Please stay tuned to more lessons on seeds. <laughs>